Well, before the break, we learned about the Wells Fargo Family Festival, where one of the six destinations is the library downtown. We ask our next guest to join us today to share plans for Sunday, but also a busy month ahead. Emily Getchman is the marketing manager for the Omaha Public Library. Good to see Emily. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Great. How are you Great. guys? Did you make it down Great. to the lighting ceremony Thursday night? Did you get did down I, there? No, I did not get down there, I, I but heard I heard it was, was beautiful. I yeah, know, yeah. 40 well, blocks. you get to see all the lights. Always a good view oh. from the library, and it's nice and warm in there too. So, I bet. Yeah, yeah. we're going to start with this. All you have a special author coming. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Who is this? Jan it's, Brett. Yeah. Um, Jan Brett is a wonderful author of over 35 children's books and a, an amazing illustrator. That's. I was actually just looking at some of these books in the green room. They're amazing. Um, she will be here on Saturday, December 6th, at the. Poli Omaha Police Union Hall yeah, in Miller. Uh, um, and we'll show you the address for that here in a mm -hmm. second. But she did those illustrations yes. in all yes. of her books. And then you have here the animals, Santa. This is her new book. And most of them, a lot of them are holiday themed books. This is the one she'll be promoting on her tour. Mm -hmm. Can um, you turn it that direction so we can see? This is a cool tote, by the way. Yeah. So d can our viewers get one of these during Absolutely. our visit? Absolutely. Yeah, they can get the bat or the book. And she will be signing books as well. And she's also going to be doing some of her illustrations during her presentation. Mm -hmm which I think is going to be raffled off, and this wow. is going to be raffled off How as a cool prize. How that? So That's they make a different kind of, you, know, you do these author visits, but it's rare that someone's also the illustrator and their talent right. is to this level. Have we figured wow. out who the Santa is, the animal Santa? I who, haven't who read it? it yet. I couldn't even get my hands on a copy because they're gone. And oh. so, so you kind of have to go to the event to get the book. Right. Go see, go see Jan, right. yeah. get the book. Yeah. We Some were talking with Heather about Sunday Yes. Um, and, and what's coming up here as part of the family festival, yes. specifically at the downtown location. What do you have up your sleeve? We have some, some unique things. Um, one of the best things about coming to ours is um, if you see the book, The Mitten, here mm -hmm. on the table, we're going to be giving those away to people who come to the library. Wow. As long as supplies last, we ordered hopefully enough for everyone, mm -hmm. but um, it's kind of a special treat to get that. And then, as usual, we'll have the hot chocolate, which is very nice after being out running around. We have cookie decorating, face painting, a photo booth, uh, a special mitten craft to go with the book. Mm -hmm. So all sorts of fun things happening at the library. And that is Sunday, but then you have some other stuff planned throughout the holiday season that yes. are related to the holidays? Yes. Um, you know, I, you guys, every time I come here, I'm like, yeah. whew, because there's always so much going right. on. But mm -hmm. we're going to have Santa visiting three of our different branches. So Saddlebrook, Florence, and Sorensen branches. Santa will be making special stops. So that's kind of fun. People can um, sign up for crafts, ha handmade ornaments to put on their trees or to give as gifts. Holiday music, that's one of my favorite mm -hmm. things. Um, and they often have them over the lunch hour at the different branches. I really love going out of my office and just hearing the the handbells or mm -hmm. the guitar music or the keyboard mm -hmm. um, it's really beautiful well, and libraries relaxing. are well. typically very quiet places yes. so to have music going is it's a nice really change. beautiful it's it's kind of just a nice time out from mm -hmm. all the hustle bustle so mm -hmm. we invite everyone to come in and just listen to the music what about as we get closer to New Year's I'm sure you've got some yes. things planned then yes too. it's not over after after Christmas um, right after Christmas there's Kwanzaa yes. so we do a celebration at our Charles B Washington branch and that's on the 27th so people can and come in and there's actually going to be a local youth talent show that day and this is all free and they'll also be serving soul food so it's just kind of a fun celebration of african-american culture and then we have new year's eve parties so that's for the whole family and that's going to be at our saddlebrook branch and one other <laughs> it's hard to remember Consult our um, downtown w del clark branch yeah, they're going to the do one. noon year's eve parties for the kids so you can count down till noon mm -hmm. and then they'll do bubble popping and balloon drops and yeah. all sorts of fun things for the family. Well, it's great because you can celebrate New Year's Eve with the family yes. and then if the adults want to get out later in the evening, you can still do that as well. Correct. But we talked about a lot of events and then omahalibrary.org is your website. Are all these outlined, you can see right on the front page, upcoming events, are they all outlined in there? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Either that or just stop into your local branch. They have calendars with all the events listed as well. Mm -hmm. So. You're not going to miss out. But There's I'll something tell you, everywhere. unless the, the downtown location is your local branch, that's the only place you're finding the activities on Sunday, just as part of the Wells Fargo Family Festival and the Holiday Lights Ceremony downtown. Right. Uh, thank you, Emily. It's thank always you. a pleasure to Have see you. Have a good holiday. You. you too. Thank you so much. Right, thank you. So if you've ever shopped for an